Carl here from Games, Brains and Headbang Life. GBHBL.com for shop. Album review time as we're checking out the masters of melancholic metal, Catatonia. Carrying on what has been an immense legacy so far. Rearranging the order of the heavy music universe. They now present their next studio album, Sky Void of Stars. Out on January 20th, 2023 via Napalm Records. Now, very few bands deliver beautiful musical misery in quite the way that Catatonia do, and for such a very long time. Founded way back in 1991, was seven at the time. They've carved out an impressive niche within the metal world and continue to impress with this new slab of gloomy ambience. An album that features unexpected amount of dreary atmosphere, but it also features an unexpected amount of experimentation which is a bit of a surprise for me personally. This is the Catatonia of 2023. One that is utilizing all their built up skills to make something that's wholly unique, but also wholly them. You'll recognize it as Catatonia, but you'll also be intrigued and excited by what they offer on this album. Because of course, it's really easy to focus on their memorable misery that Catatonia has to offer. But it's important to look at this album as so much more than that. Evident from the start with the complex rhythm shifts of the album, Opener Austerity. It sets the mood, showcasing mesmerizing murkiness in Catatonia style. But of course, it's not all about wallowing though as the high-powered riffs of Colossal Shade show. This is Catatonia at the catchiest, is might be the right word to use here, while still laying on atmosphere thickly. Before then, the tone is taken to dark locales with the down tempo of Opaline, whereas Birds, in contrast to that one, is a blast of energy that really takes, for me personally, the album experience up that extra notch. It's this genre bending that still delights when it comes to Catatonia. Yet there's simply no arguing when they go all in on the melancholic moodiness either, as they do on the wonderful drab moon. Or when they extend that in, into even more powerful and morose tones, such as an author. Or with the delicate and doomed in sound of impermeance, which features the vocals of Soen's Joel Ekloff. As the album reaches the latter stage, the feeling of excitement is still quite prevalent, I've found. A word that I will admit isn't always used to describe catatonia, but it is a word that comes to mind upon spending time with Sky Void of Stars. It's exciting because the genre bending up to this point has been immensely satisfying. It's not been so wild and weird that you can't get along with it, but it's been intriguing to your ears, particularly if you're familiar with this band's work. Happily, Regardless of how miserable this album can be at times, which it is, that does continue, that exciting genre bender stuff does continue into the huge ambience of Scalaria, the blend of gloom and vigor that Atrium has to showcase, the epic melodies and atmosphere of No Beacon to illuminate our fall, and the heavy melody and explosivity of Absconda. Brilliant set of tracks, brilliant latter portion of this album. And overall, it's Catatonia continuing to prove that their specific brand of music is still as important and relevant today as it was decades ago. It's taken me a long time to get into this band, uh, truth be told. You know, I'd, I'd passed them in, you know, I'd walked past them a few times in the past with a few album releases and always enjoyed it because I do like this kind of music. music. I do like melancholy in my rock and metal, but I tend to lean toward, towards the doomier side of that sound, whereas Catatonia have elements of that, of course, in their music. It's not certainly exclusively the genre they live in. But as the years have gone by, I found myself more and more attracted to this band, you know, culminating in this first release of 2023 by this band, first release, not gonna release a second album this year. Their new album released in 2023, I found I really, really enjoyed it. I really got into it, I really followed the journey along. I really felt as from beginning to end that it was a top quality album. I didn't really get bored either, I think that's really interesting too. No boredom, just excited to see what's gonna come next, admiring the difference in tracks, admiring the level of genre bending, but also loving and enjoying that Catatonia classic melancholic metal sound. 
Sky Void of Stars. 20th of January 2022 by Napalm Records. You know what to do. Check it out. Let me know what you think in the comments. Thank you very much for watching. If you liked what you saw, please help us out by giving us a thumbs up and hitting that subscribe button. If you really liked what you saw, consider donating to keep the website and channel running by buying us a coffee via our coffee page or picking up some merch from our big cartel store. You can check us out on gbhbell.com as well as via our social media, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, as well as listen to our interviews via SoundCloud, Apple Music, and Spotify. Just search for GBHBL. Games, horror, and heavy metal. What else is life for?